What's up everyone, it's Baca. I'm just kicking it on this kind of random rainy day and I figured I'd do a little coffee show and tell and kick you guys some of my espresso demi collection. Now I got a ton of demis, but for this video we'll just kind of stick to the ones that have cool logos or designs or kind of associated with cool memories that I've had. Now I'll probably split this up into two separate videos so it's not unreasonably long and we'll just get into it. So first one we have here is this Electra Demi. This is a Inker porcelain cup. I got this in Milan at SIC which is a huge machine show that they have every other year. I was able to go to that thanks to Eileen who was my boss at Ritual at the time and Gary McCann from Espresso Warehouse. He hooked it up so we were able to work at the Electra booth which is where I got this uh, cup. The booth was crazy. It's Nothing like the trade shows in the U.S. It's just lavish. The booth was huge. It had waterfalls in it, two machines. Everything was all decked out. We were serving crazy Italian espresso, and it was so much fun. And this cup right here is just a little memento from that trip. So everybody that made that possible, thank you. Uh, cup's pretty basic. Electra logo on one side, little racing stripe down the handle. It's got the little, I don't know if it's like an eagle or some weird kind of bird on it, but things pretty tight. Had espresso out of it a couple times. Electra Inker Cup. Up next, we got another Inker Cup. This one's a 49th Parallel Cup. Powder blue, one of my favorite colors. I got this from, I think, Sammy Piccolo at the WBC in 2009 when it was in Atlanta. They were pulling shots on the Anthem. The Anthem was kind of just coming into popularity at that time, and he was making espresso at the booth, made me espresso in this cup, and said I could take the cup. So, Sammy, you're the bomb. Thanks. I don't even know if you remember this, um, but it's tight. So, the cup's pretty basic. Blue on the outside, white on the inside, little Inker logo on the bottom, and that's it. 49th Parallel, Inker, 2009, Atlanta. Okay, more Inker Porcelain. This cup is from Victrola. Got this at Seattle at the Roastery on Pike. I don't know when I got it. It was probably for a Coffee Fest or maybe an SCAA thing. Probably Coffee Fest. And got this one and the matching cappuccino cup. Bam! Same deal. Both kind of a really awesome tulip shape. I'm a big fan of the tulip flared cups. I always have been. Um, Standard Victrola logo on one side, all white all the way around. Nothing super crazy about it. Now, I've been to that roastery a bunch of times. I've been to that cafe a bunch of times. And I think the first time I was there, I was just in the zone. I'm like, I got to get a cup, got to get a cappuccino cup, got to add it to my collection. So I don't know what happened that weekend, but I'm sure it was freaking fantastic. So there you have it. Victrola Inker Cup. All right, this one's super tight. This is a Lavazza. It's made by IPA Porcelain, and it's probably hard to tell from the video, but IPAs, they always have a really nice glaze on the porcelain. I love the way the logo's done on the bottom. I got this in the airport at Milan when I was flying back from SIC. So this cup contained the last espresso that I ever had in Italy when I was on my way out before I went back to the States. Um, so that was pretty rad, and I was like, I have to get this cup too. Got to add it to my collection. So this is certified Italian stuff. It's got a weird little handle on it, which actually works pretty well. It's got kind of one of those, you know, pinch it and it goes handles. You can't get your finger in there, but the pinch works real proper. And just kind of like a tapered straight wall kind of thing. Blue Lavazza logo on one side, nothing on the other. Lavazza IPA, classic Italian shit right there. All right, here's one from the legendary camp. This is an espresso Vivace cup that I got at their Broadway store which was the roastery, which I believe is no longer there because the city or somebody took over the building uh, via eminent domain, and now I think it's a transit station. Um, but this was for my first visit to Vivace. I went there with Tony Serrano, my old good friend, and I was like, I need to get this cup. It's got the 1988 to 1998, so maybe it's a 10th anniversary cup or something. Uh, it's made by a company called Tognana, which I've never seen a cup from Tognana before. Don't know what that means. Uh, Vivace logo on the front. Uh, coolest thing about this cup is that it's got the four little grooves on the bottom, so that if you have a wet saucer and this cup goes down on it, you won't have any suction in between the cup and the saucer. But 
you know, if you got that attention to detail thing dialed, you probably won't have a wet saucer. But nonetheless, it's a little cool feature. So yeah, Tognana, Espresso Vivace, David Schomer, shout out, you're my dog. Legendary right here. All right, one of my favorites, White Intelligentsia Wings ACF Cup. Um, ACF is now defunct, but their tulip shaped cups are some of my favorite cups ever. I think I got this cup from Kyle Glanville back in the day. He hooked it up along with some other plain white espresso and plain white cappuccino. Thanks, Kyle. And this one I use all the time. I've had a ton of espresso out of this cup. Pretty basic Intelligentsia Wings logo on the front, all white otherwise. ACF stamp on the bottom and the porcelain's pretty thin for ACF. I've seen some variants in the ACF cups. Some of them are a little thicker. This one's a little more on the thin side, but again, classic ACF. Love this cup. It's the bomb. All right, we're going to end part one with these two bad boys. Now these are some of the sickest cups that I have. They are from the roastery in Kansas City. I think I got them from Sandy Hahn back in the day and it's kind of a perfect pair. The reason I love these so much is the porcelain is awesome on them. It's a really thin wall and there's a ton of room in the espresso and in the macchiato. So in the espresso you could definitely fit a modern, you know, 40 plus gram shot in it if you wanted to and the macchiato is large enough to where you could get away with making a proper double macchiato and make it taste good. And for those of you that know me, you know I hate drinking double macchiatos out of those tiny cups because the balance just isn't right. But with this thing, you can just make it rain. So these are from Brazil and they have two manufacturers stamp on the bottom over the top of each other. Really awesome airplane logo on one side, standard roastery logo on the other side. And these things are just kick ass. I love the plane logo. I love the way it looks on the cup. Uh, I want to see more custom cups like these. I don't even know if they make these anymore. These are from at least six or seven years ago. So check it out. Maybe you could score one. All right, y'all. That is the end of part one of my Demi collection. Tune back in for part two and you can see what other weird cups I got up my sleeve. Peace.